Yo, what's up, crazy? This is me, Crazy Knock. It's me, Knock. It's me, Knock. Crazy Knock, your sweet baby boy. Uh, I know you guys are all my children. You guys are all my children, the crazies. Uh, today is gonna be another video, another fucking video, isn't it, right, Jack? Sorry, I'm just a little upset. I'm getting a little antsy. Multiverses is not out yet. Today's gonna just be a little video of my thoughts. Just what? What are we all thinking? What are we all thinking about multiverses? You know? When is the game coming out? Why is there no announcement? What is Warner Brothers doing? Does Suicide Squad have to do with it? Anything? What about the McDonald's? Where'd that come from? Where's the news? Oh wait, does that mean McDonald's is coming out soon? Because of McDonald's? I don't know. But wait, there's no release date on McDonald's. Why is there ad? There's no announcements for the ad. Oh wait, the community of fuck, there's so many fucking things. Fucking things to talk about. I'm gonna sing about it too. Why don't we have multiverses news? I don't know. I don't know. Why can't I just get a little taste? A little bit of taste. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this video is going to be just something to talk about. Because I know a lot of you guys, a lot of people who are hyped for multiverses are just speculating, anticipating, precipitating, precipitation, precipitation, science, uh, masturbating. <coughs> Trust me, there's no ride dogs involved you know just predictions and we're gonna go through all that and what i think and we're just gonna go with the flow as well because i want it to be raw i want to give it to you guys so fucking raw that you guys don't even know what to do with it you're gonna be so afraid that you might you're gonna get so fucked in your mind that you might have to go to a doctor and see if you got a syphilis now first off i want to go search up the release date for suicide squad i'm thinking to myself warner brothers is tweeting out a lot of shit about suicide squad let's take a look a bunch of like notifications. Let's go take a look. Let's go find Warner Brothers, huh? Suicide Squad. Boom, we go to their page. Look at this. Warner Brothers pinned Suicide Squad. Oh, see you Monday, Suicide Squad. See you Monday, Suicide Squad. Retweeted their tweet. Unbelievable. Don't miss our debut live stream with new. Guess what? Suicide Squad, new member, Shroud. Gonna play for a day and never play it again. But he got a fat stack of cash. Look at that, more partners. Holy tits on a stick. And oh, guess what? Suicide Squad! Suicide Squad, I'm gonna fucking be a part of the Suicide Squad if I, we don't get multiverses soon. Crazy Doc, there's gotta be an update in January. Come on, come on. You guys are delusional. No updates in January. No updates in January, come on. Come on now. Do you think Warner Brothers, who's now participating and joined with Multiverses, Player First Games, is going to pull attention away from the Suicide Squad, which is a big AAA game that they're focusing on right now, and give it some love towards Multiverses? No, 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 what they're gonna do is they're gonna pull my pants down and spread my cheeks like they've been doing. Oh my god. After the game comes out. January 30th. I give it a couple weeks to obviously want to see how the waters settle. After a tsunami, you can't do anything and repair the city that got destroyed until it settles down. So basically, what I'm trying to say is Suicide Squad is a tsunami. <laughs> As you can see here, in detail, the tweets. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot Multiverse has never even tweeted! I forgot, thanks for the reminder. God damn it. In the coming, right there, boom, my eyes went straight to it. In the coming months, as we move closer to launch, we'll be unveiling our unveiling our exciting future for Multiverses. So there might be multiple updates when it comes out, is, is what I'm thinking. But this was on December 22nd. We're not even one month! And it said in the coming months. In the coming months. The months have not come yet. And neither have I, fuck! So with that all said, uh, I'm gonna say my first prediction, the announcement of multiverses. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a release date. I think it should be. I'm hopeful for that. They're gonna give us some sort of news that we haven't experienced, something we haven't seen, something we haven't don't know besides we love the community. You know, we're gonna get something besides that. Mid to late February. I'm gonna guess February 16th. And you know why? I don't even know. We're gonna go to the calendar. Outlook is replacing mail and calendar? Fuck Outlook! I want my calendar, bitch! January, February 16th is on a Friday. See, I didn't even know it was on a Friday, but you will say they are on a Tuesday. So you know what? I might change it February 20th. 
we're gonna get news. Maybe if we're lucky, the 13th. You know what else I'm thinking? I don't know where I saw this, but I saw a bunch of tweets. You don't have to trust me, guys. I have reputation you have to trust. One of the developers, I even saw it with my own fucking eyes that they're planning to add Multiverse's third-party character licensing. Otherwise, if they didn't, they would have called it like Wonder Brothers. Wonder Brothers, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm high on fucking meth. Warner Brothers Brawler or something like that instead of Multiverses. My predictions for new character licensing will definitely be like, it's gotta be a year. I don't think we get any third party licensing in 2024. Do you know how many fucking characters Warner Brothers has? Like I was looking up here earlier and there's just so many characters. A lot of these probably wouldn't even be able to use like a fucking actual actor and stuff. But there's so many animated characters. You could add the Amigos group from fucking Happy Feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage quit if that's on release. You can add a fucking armadillo, look at that. Like, look at this, look at this. Holy shit, can you read that fast? No! Who is Erica the Red? I mean, I don't know who it is, but she better be on Multiverse's release. <laughs> the Eye Guy. Who could forget about the Eye Guy, guys? Harry Potter, there's just so many characters, man, that could be added. If it, anyone, it'd probably be Walter White, even though I don't think he really fits in the game. I don't know where Walter White came from. I also thought to myself, Warner Brothers has a release date in mind already. But you know what? They probably agreed with Warner Brothers. You know, we, we won't announce our game or distract or take attention from the Suicide Squad release. So we're not going to say anything. If that's the case, we could get a March release. February announcement, March release. Like super close. Because maybe they wanted to announce it in January or December. But they're like, no, our new game's coming out. Warner Brothers is like, please, please don't announce your game. Come on, we're ready. We want to do the announcement. Our community is getting, they want the juice. Tony's like, please, please. I, I, they want the juice. No, no, you can't. You can't. I'm going to go for the release date to be not in March, but in April. I'm trying to decide between the 16th or the 23rd. You know what? They're going to add a little bit more time. I'm going to say April 23rd is going to be the release date. That will suck if they do it on a Tuesday, but I heard that a lot of stuff... Everything's on Tuesday, man. All the updates. It's so weird. I don't know how they chose that. Taco Tuesday. Oh, no wonder. It's Taco Tuesday. Everyone's distracted with Taco Tuesday. But I'm going to call April 23rd. If it's in May, that is like... You know what? I wouldn't doubt this, but I'm kind of disappointed. And then June... I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And then July, I'm like, yep, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm that is the absolute worst case scenario, in my opinion. And then you always see people in chat saying like, oh, I heard it's going to have guild this, guild that. I'm going to uh, like, there, there's just here, there are things in here and there that you have to like take their word for it, but it doesn't mean anything. So you can't really tell people concrete evidence. You can always talk with your friends like, oh, I wish this was this. And it had this and it had this. Oh my God, what if it has this? Are you always the game play going to change? I don't know. That's one thing I want to talk about too, is just like, what do you guys think the game is going to feel like? I know that's a big topic that's always on my mind. Please don't make it like Smash Bros. Please don't ruin it to where there's like blocking. And please don't ruin it to where like there's no the uh, wall guarding. Please don't remove that. You know, you, you have to be scared a little bit. You don't want player first games to be like, you know what? Our game kind of fell off. Maybe we need to make it like Super Smash Bros. No, that's what scares me. But then you also think, wait, what if they didn't do that? What if they didn't do that and they uh, are actually changing the game? Then you still think, wait, how are they going to change that? I even heard there might be like a parry system of some sort, which I wouldn't mind. It has to be done right. It can't be like something that you can just block whenever you want. Oh, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna just make it whiff recovery huge, not do anything? Are they gonna make it like a lot slower to where you can't just dodge all the time? You know, it's scary to think about that you don't want things to be ruined. One mode that versus releases. And then you think about the modes. Isn't that right, Jeff? Don't you think about the fucking modes all the time? He's a little silent right now. He's giving me the silent treatment. I smacked his ass earlier and he's not talking about it. My favorite all-time mode. If this was the only mode that came out, I like, I would be happy. Imagine a 3v3 ranked mode. Single elimination. You have three, two of your best friends and, and then you. You're like, you know what? Let's go ranked, bro. Let's grind this. And then you go into a 3v3 match. One person is 1v1 in just like this, like behind me. Boom! You're like... And the other two are cheering you on like, holy shit, dude, holy fuck, that's a play. Dude, nice play, nice play. Just keep your life, play your life, play your life. Holy shit, man, you're going insane right now. Like, nice hit, nice hit, bro. Nice fucking hit, bro. Now the second person comes in. 
It could be a different character. The guy right here, he keeps his health. It's a single elimination stock. Up here, it's the second player's turn. I'm, I'm sure you guys understand it. I don't want to mansplain it, but I'm just, like just talking about the details, it gives me an erection that could literally cure something. I don't know what it would cure, but the that's how big the erection is. The greatest thing is this guy gets the chance to three stock three different players on the same fucking damage bar. I obviously it failed like oh fuck dude nice try and then we got another player in and then he can sit out and then he can cheer his teammate on so much fun to watch ones to begin with so when you're cheering your friend on your rank all three of you are working together and your rank are in the balance it's gonna be feel oh my god that mode that mode would go so hard uh, with the guilds like you go guild versus guild like oh my god oh my god uh, will my erection ever go down trump please i needed to go down i have absolutely no doubt crisis averted that mode alone is what i'm thinking about i'm sure there are going to be more modes now let's talk about the multiverse McDonald's just for a second. A lot of people were thinking that the multiverse McDonald's was for the beta and they somehow got access to it earlier on and they were suspecting that the beta wouldn't end, but then they forgot to cancel and they just couldn't cancel it. Everything was made, everything was done. I don't know what the hell. You don't have a new Iron Giant. You don't have a new Shag. You don't have a new Bugs Bunny. The render on Superman is the old one. So there's like a few changes. Like Finn doesn't have a sword. The Wonder Woman cleavage, big massive titties had to be hidden. You gotta keep the children safe, okay? You can't be showing that to just... And there's no way you do a marketing McDonald's fucking campaign release, whatever you wanna call it, without a release date. I'm just, I'm literally just going winging it and talking about the stuff that's like on my brain and like what I want and like, oh my, I'm so, so curious. I just love talking about it. I love listen, listening to other people's thoughts and them talk about it. I love that you're listening to me, me talking to listening to you and I'm listening to talking. We could get married and never get divorced with the kind of relationship we all have with the multiverses. It's great. I love you guys. All right, last thing I just wanted to, you know, kind of talk about randomly. I just wanted to look at multiverses and look at that 29 in game. All time peak players was 153, kind of predicting what it would be when it comes out. Now, with the Asian servers coming, it's highly likely not confirmed, but they're adding languages to something in the game. It would make sense, right? Or I'm very optimistic about like i'm gonna say 300,000 players on launch if they do the marketing right if they get it out to the asian servers and they get it known over there and do you know make it hype i bet 300,000 on steam alone on steam alone i'm just talking about steam console players i bet you could triple that number i bet you there's gonna be a a million players online on launch throughout the first you know couple days and then i'm thinking about okay what what would be a good number for both of versus to have six months from there or like a year from now like to where it's consistently like you know you're not gonna lose this player base i'd say if you had like 20 25 000 players on steam playing this game at once dude that would be absolutely mind-blowing because i don't want people to be like oh wow multiverse is that up to a million players and then went down to zero like dropped like 70 percent <laughs> go look at mortal kombat two thousand people in game even street fighter i think it's a little bit more but an even more popular game Ten thousand in game this is not counting console by the way triple a company fighting game so that's just something to think about and then i <laughs> and then the other day i was laughing i was laughing at this dude <laughs> Oh my god, bro. That's gonna do it for me, crazies. I just wanted to talk about a bunch of stuff. Get what's off on my mind out on the screen. Just, you know what? Because it's really fun just to listen to people, as I said, and talk about it. That's how excited we are for multiverses. We love to hear the community and all of our opinions. So definitely comment what's on your mind. What modes are there gonna be? What, what do you want there to be? All that stuff, I wanna hear it all. But with that being said, crazies, Jeff and I are gonna say goodbye. And good night. I love you, crazies. I love you, crazies. We're almost there, crazies. I love you. I just want to fucking kiss you all over. <laughs> Tony, I want you to say something to me. Because we met on Tinder. We met on Grindr. We were like, hey, he said, hey. And we were all together. But then he goes to 